I'm B.B. Birdry with the American Civil Liberties Union Education Reform Project. We are heartened that so much attention has come to the issue of modernizing school facilities over the last year since the ACLU released its report about the condition of buildings in Baltimore City. Dr. Alonzo is pushing very hard for solutions. The mayor formed a task force to work on it and has uh, gotten additional state money that will be de uh, dedicated to school facilities in Annapolis. The city council president and the ca city council have passed a bill to create a facilities fund. The state is planning an alternative uh, financing conference on school facilities, but it's not enough. And it's not fast enough for the teachers and the children that will come back to decrepit school buildings in Baltimore City in two weeks. What are we demanding for our kids? We need a $2.8 billion funding plan to renovate every school building. It is possible to achieve, but it will take city and state action and collaboration to make it happen. The funding is completely inadequate and the buildings will never get fixed unless we have a new solution. The Build Schools, Build Neighborhoods campaign will organize to, to demand a new approach and a plan. Here's what we'll be asking for. First, we need to be able to leverage existing funding streams, that is, to be able to borrow up front a large amount of money, as Greenville, South Carolina did, to renovate all of its schools within five years and use that existing stream of money to pay off the debt, just like you do when you're building a house uh, and paying off your mortgage. This requires state and city approval to commit to a steady stream of funding over a period of time and flexible use of school construction dollars. This is absolutely possible to do right now with no new revenue. It will take first a commitment uh, to take on the issue in a big way, to say, yes, we are going to uh, renovate all of our school buildings in the next eight years. And secondly, it's going to take a willingness to do things differently, to not continue with the same broken way of addressing school facilities. So getting state and city agreement to leverage existing funding streams is an action that needs to be and can be taken now. Then next, leveraging existing funding will take us far down the road, but not quite far enough to get to the $2.8 billion plan. The campaign will push discussions about the best additional revenue sources that will be needed from the state and the city in order to renovate the schools in Baltimore the way they have been all over Iowa, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. It is happening other places. It can happen here. The campaign is going to build a movement to make this happen. We're not going to go away. This is not about between now and the mayoral election. This is about working until we can get it done. The status quo of old depressing school buildings is unacceptable. And this coalition and campaign are going to change that. I've seen our children bundled up in their coats and mittens trying to pay attention to the teacher in the classroom while shivering in their